Last time on Pokemon Legend Z, Orenji ascended beyond human, beyond even noble. He is now. Yeah, I seriously don't know why my character still looks like this, but we're rolling with it as today we're going to be taking on Automon as soon as we step outside. And I am so excited for it because we haven't gotten to battle this dude yet in the whole game. There he is, ready with his Leafy on. And if you guys are excited as well, make sure to smash that like button for more Legends Arceus. We got another episode coming up later tonight. We also see the other new warden over here, Melly. Tell me, tell me, please. Yes, please tell me if this is male or female. Like, I know it's not that important, but I just, I gotta know for science, I suppose. Anyway, it's time to have a round with Automon. You bet. Actually, I don't even know if I healed my Pokemon. Oh, gosh. Melly, make sure you watch closely now. He's just such a mood, dude. And I just love his whole aesthetic. Or her aesthetic. I, I really don't know. That's why I mainly want to know. Just so I know I can refer to them properly. Or I could just say they. I guess that's the proper way if you don't know for sure. But anyway... Leafeon is kicking things off by raising its stats already. What the frick, man? Well, this is fine because we've got Quilliam, the unofficial but totally official name of our Quillfish. Oh, wait. I just realized it's a female. I guess it's Mrs. Puff then, who's got the Bar Barrage. And we actually have to use that attack in a strong style 20 times in order to evolve this Pokemon. It's one of the weirdest methods of evolution I've ever seen for sure. But a welcome change. And uh, I guess... Little Eevee, just like in the battle against Irda, I think two episodes ago, uh, we have a little cheerleader for... Oh my god, please don't kill me. No! I shouldn't have done strong style. It's always my downfall. But it's okay, because Azul can come in here and clean up. And yes, a couple of people pointed out that I could have nicknamed it Azulon, who's, you know, Azula's granddad in uh, The Legend of uh, The Last Airbender. I don't know why I keep calling it the Legend of. It's Avatar, the last airbender. Fire Lord Azulon. And I think I might change that up when it actually evolves into Rapidash. For now, though, it's just Azul, which still fits because Azul means blue. And obviously, this little Ponyta is very blue, especially now that it's dead. Jeez, man. Finally, Leafeon's stats are going back to normal. That's freaking crazy. Like, two Pokemon down already, and it's not like we're super under-leveled either. It's mainly just this Eevee being really annoying, like, backing him up. But, whatever, dude. Chang gets the XP in the end, which I'm okay with. Our little Growlithe also deserves to be an Arcanine, and that'll get us, well, not really any closer, because, uh, Hisuian Growlithe, just like regular Growlithe, actually evolves by Firestone, so... Doesn't really matter what level it is. This little Eevee's only level 18, though, and it did that much? Come on. Sad. Just sad. Hey, at least Billy gets a level up, though. More importantly, we beat Automon. You see how good Orenji is now? No more sneering at him. <laughs> now, I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Orenji. Glad to have your help as always. Thank you for the battle. Melly, shift yourself, unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. Oh, come on, Automon, cut me some slack here. Orangi? Oh, hey. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of our new mission. Ah, yes, yeah, so we did learn what the next noble Pokemon will be, but I guess we got to get into those juicy details. And I also got to talk to Silene afterwards because we're ready to rank up. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. To take on the Highlands, you must achieve the rank of four star or higher, you know. Evolve Pokemon into other Pokemon. Use items to stun them or induce other effects in the wild. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank and aid with any requests that might be found on the professor's blackboard. Got it. I'm sure it'll be no problem with our Super Saiyan status. <laughs> That's the real reason why Automon didn't stand a chance. So let's see what kind of new requests we've got going here. Eevee's Evolutions, Taste of Honey, and Battling Pachirisu. 
I think I've actually seen a Pachirisu in the wild. There is an area that I don't think I showed off in the playthrough yet in the Crimson Mire Lens. But, uh, you know, we might show that off in this episode. In fact, I think I'm going to try to focus on some side quests for today. Mainly these requests from the Blackboard, because I know that there's a lot from, like, the random people around the village, too. But I feel like if I try to do every single request, we're never going to progress. But speaking of progression, it's time to get some star. Yeah, I didn't really have a good thing I was going to say there. But now we're four star rank. And we can use leaden balls. I have no idea what those are, but more importantly, we can raise Pokemon up to level 50, which means we can start using some of our newly evolved Hisuian forms from a couple episodes ago. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to raise your ranks higher. Yes. Oh, wait. I thought we were going to rank up again, but no, she's just saying now we can go to the Coronet Highlands. But she'll need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this Electrode. Ah, so if you didn't know, yeah, Electrode is the next noble. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Is it just Zizu or is it actually someone else that's going to train us this time? And actually, here's one request that I simply cannot deny. Wanda's gone missing again in the Cobalt Coastlands. Great. So yeah, we got to go find her with Ursa Luna. Please. Fine, I got you. Request 58, dude. There's just so many requests in this game. There's no way we're going to get them all done. But we'll try to get at least the most important ones done. And that reminds me that we actually forgot something here in the basement of the Galaxy Team base. We've got Tao Hua, who wanted some pop pods, uh, whatever those are. We picked them up on the beach of the coastlands. And this will actually get us more items in Choi's item shop. So probably worth doing. Would you let me have some, please? Just three. Okay, fine. Is he going to freak out over them again like he did with the greens? Oh, yeah. Pops sure loves his pop pods. <laughs> They're best known as a Korean ingredient in the scatterbangs. Those lively items for scaring off Pokemon. So now Choi should have even more items to buy. Good news. There's some stock for you and excellent items. Oh, nice. I wonder what they might be. Come on, bro. Oh, no. There's another request. Uh, yes, the same business all over again. Okay, what do you need this time? Just tell me, please. I know it's something from the next area we're going to go to, so we can't quite get it yet. But I just want to know what these new items that we've got are. Full heal and stealth spray. Okay, you guys have been telling me, actually, to try out these smoke bombs and I guess maybe also the stealth spray makes your sounds muffled so pokemon are less likely to notice you all of these i haven't really tried out but i definitely am going to this episode just so we know how they work Ooh, looks like arezi has got some new hairstyles for us coming soon no that's not quite right it just needs that little extra something oh just the boy i need yeah i'm still a guy I know a couple of people with my haircut might have gotten confused, but right now I'm picturing, yeah, Mistrevis. If I could study a Mistrevis up close, I'm sure I'd come up with some amazing new styles. What? I have never seen a Mistrevis out in the wild. Unless it's actually in the next area we're going to, which kind of sucks. I want haircuts right now. But hey, even if we don't got haircuts, we at least have some new clothes because this lady wanted to see both forms of Shellos, and now we actually have those, so let's show her the... Wait, what? You want to see the pink one first? Are you... Okay, well, we got that one too, so, like, relax. Ah, there we go. Now you want to see the blue, huh? There you go, auntie. It's quite beyond me why Shellos should have different colors, but I think it's absolutely charming that they change things up depending on where they live. We here in Jubilife Village have also journeyed far from where we used to live. Maybe a change in the color of our clothing is just what we need. So you're not actually going to have new clothes, just new colors? I guess we'll find out soon enough. New items in the Clothier shop. Actually, I guess there might be new items just from the fact that we've finished the next part of the story. But of course, just like Choi, she's got another request for us. She'd like to see the Pokemon Wormadom. All three forms of them, I'm guessing. Well, we have at least one Wormadom, I think. Maybe not all three of them, but uh, yep, there's one actually. I really hope she doesn't want all three. So this is what's known as a plank cloak. 
It's as if Wormadom has become one with the lush nature. I never knew Pokemon were capable of such things. Yes, I've got it! Oh, thank goodness, dude. We just get a whole bunch of new clothes. Thankfully, we already had Wormadom. So what do we got now up in the shop? A bowler hat. What is this? <laughs> this is totally not fitting. And then for shirts, we've got a whole bunch of new fancy kimonos after all of our favorite lords and ladies. And even some after mountainscapes, I guess. Oh, I like the flame style. Okay, we got to get back in orange. We've been Tanjiro for too long, so let's switch things up. Yo, we got a suit now, though? Hold up. Wait a minute. I got my wedding coming up, bro. Like, maybe this is the move right here. I don't like the orange one, though. Reminds me too much of Team Flair. And we got some new boots, too. The ankle boots. I'm guessing those are, like, to go along with the suit. They do look pretty nice. No, not the sandals. And finally, there's a monocle also to go along with the suit. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that one. Oh, man. We're no longer glowing. I was about to say, we could, like... Change up our hair to be Goku. Come on, you really ain't got no new haircuts, Arezu. This is quite a weird outfit, but you know, it might just be temporary. I mean, I know it's for sure just temporary. And what is this? I don't believe this shop was ever here before. Hello again. You really came to my rescue with that pickling stone, you know? So I wonder if I can impose on you again for help with a new pickle proposal. What the frick? You opened up a new shop and now you got, uh, you need artillery ink. Inspiration quite literally struck me at that moment. I knew I could use this ink to create pickles the likes of which the world has never seen. I hope we can do something with these pickles if we're really going out of our way to get you some octillery ink. How are my favorite farm boys doing? Better have some uh, good chunk of apricorns for me, garden daddy. I think if we talk to this other guy, he's probably going to expand the fields even more. But he needs a certain Pokemon, doesn't he? Something with Rock Smash. Would you look at that? Machop and Rhyhorn already got those. So here you go. Better put him to work with the other boys. Now we've got four fields so we can grow even more apricorns. But yeah, this guy over here actually wanted to see a Glammeow. And we've got one now. So uh, it better be Glammeow. Yes, this is it. Just as I remember the elegant sway of its tail. That charming spiral shape. And the enchanting way it bobs about like a leaf in the wind. Simply remarkable. <laughs> Glammeow's just like, bruh. Have you gone attached to me there, kitty? All right. You mess with the kitty, you get the claws. I actually had a cat growing up and it was not a fun experience. I think because it was like a stray cat that my grandma brought in, but like it would hide inside of my keyboard tray. And every time I would get home from school to like, edit videos or play games, I would put my hands in the keyboard tray and looks like we got one more request right by the pastures here. You want another Pokemon, don't ya? I heard right something about fins. I'm guessing it might be Finneon. Oh, looks like it is. The way it wiggles its fins is so adorable. It's like they're fluttering in the wind, bro. Why does it look so huge? Wait, did I actually catch like a huge ass Finneon and didn't notice? Or is that just the perspective? Because it's like closer to the camera or something. On the way to our main quest over at the training grounds. I've been meaning to go to the training grounds anyway. Because Zizu can teach us some new moves. And we've got a lot of new Pokemon recently. Uh, but first, this guy wants us to buy some more treats. Or do you want me to get you something? Come on, bro. Just spit it out. We gotta get some soot foot root springy mushroom. I think I actually have all those. Don't tell me I don't have any roots. Whatever, I guess it'll have to wait because we've got more important things to deal with like uh, this guy, Ingo. Wait, that's literally the original guy's name. Did you come here from the future too? Irda, you better tell me what's going on. This gentleman is Warden Ingo who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. Who? Pleased to meet you. I apologize for that abrupt how did you do before. I'm the Warden Ingo. Wait, you're really a Warden, bro? I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now, let's have a safe journey to Mount Cornet. All the board! That's so cool. That's literally the pose that they do in their sprite from Pokemon Black and White. It was Ingo and some other guy or girl. I don't remember their name, but they were like the conductors of the battle subway. 
And I guess he's now here in Hisui? With the same name? Which I'm a little confused about. In any case, I'm glad to have your help to count on once again. Good luck up in the Highlands! I keep switching up everybody's voices, I'm sorry. I'm not very consistent at remembering what I made them sound like originally, but... Zizu, I don't remember your voice either. I just know that I want some new moves, especially for Charlie, who evolved last episode. But we've actually got Psycho Cut, Poison Jab, Iron Tail. I mean, those are the only that really seem like they might be pretty good. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and grab the Psycho Cut. I don't think we need the other ones right now. Over here next to Sizu, I've heard that this old lady does something quite special. I actually talked to her off screen, but I didn't really get what was happening. But she will actually offer a prayer for you with her charms. And you can pick which charm you want. To faint less frequently, stay in good health, or lose fewer items. I've been fainting quite a lot actually, so... Wait, does that mean me or my Pokemon? I'm pretty sure it's my Pokemon, because stay in good health would be for like me, like the player. So I'm gonna go with this. I got the charm just for that, my dear. 3k? Sure. I uh, don't know if we have to like equip it or it just works, but we've got the Survival Charm R. A mysterious charm that holds the power to protect a person from fainting. What? So it protects me, not my Pokemon? I want the good health one then. Only 500? Are you serious? Can we equip all of them at once? This one holds the power to protect a person from being afflicted with status. What? So it's not for me. It's for my Pokemon? Oh. You want another charm? What? Okay, is it a different color? Or is it literally the same thing? Warding Charm B! Ah, so there are different ones. The charm comes in five different colors. Does that mean they protect you from different status conditions? I don't even know if I should keep buying these. <laughs> Tempting Charm. Whoa, it's like Arceus's Arc, but green. And this one will, yeah, it'll prevent your items from dropping, I guess. What if I buy another one of these then? Eight! Are you serious? You know what? Just to see what this is, I'll got buy one. But I feel like it's probably not worth it. Oh, so I don't think there's actually any difference between these two charms. It's just like you have to be holding one in order for it to work. So this one will prevent you from fainting. This one, if you do happen to faint, you'll still keep your item. So I guess it's kind of redundant to have both. So I'll just keep the one that prevents us from fainting because we're doing zero deaths in this playthrough. And we'll finally head off into the Mirelands. Now, I believe I read in the comments that Turtwig is located in this bottom left corner, which I have actually explored before, but never showed off in video. There's originally going to be a rock blocking your way, but you can actually send a Pokemon out to get rid of it for you. I haven't seen a Turtwig here. I have seen, however, a Alpha Pachirisu. Oh gosh. Even if we don't catch it, I'm just going to walk away because I'm really after Turtwig and I'm pretty sure it did actually run away. What the frick? That's an Alpha Torterra, bro. I was just looking for Turtwig. I'm currently in the home of Trials and uh, I don't think this spawns every day. Let's try out some of our new items that you guys have been telling me about. Well, right now we're spotted by someone. Oh, okay, now we're good. So uh, let's see. We've got smoke bombs which i believe can hide us even if we're not in the grass so uh let me actually throw another one even closer to torterra and see if we can hit it with a heavy ball or maybe an ultra ball i actually don't even have any heavy balls on me oh gosh this smoke bomb's gonna run out and i'm gonna regret my life aren't i oh geez wait we can't even throw the pokeball at it or wait we can whoa Nice! Imagine we actually... Okay, yeah, I figured it wasn't actually going to catch! Uh, can we go for the other thing that we bought? Oh god, there's so many... What are you doing, bro? What is that attack? Where's my other item? I don't even know how to use it. I guess we've got the flashbang? What happens if we throw that? Ah! They got stunned. But they're still, like, looking at us, so I don't know if this counts as catching it unaware. Yeah, definitely not. He's filled with might, and we're probably gonna die. Oh god, what is that? Bro! I've never even heard of a headlong rush before. What the frick, dude? All right, I'm out of here. 
So there is actually turd twigs, which will, I'm assuming, be a lot easier to catch, but they're in the opposite corner of the map. So we're gonna run our way there and I guess grab this satchel along the way. In fact, let me just get on Ursa Luna's back. We found another peat block? Are you serious? That's two in a row. So both times it's been very close to this little mound where we originally fought Ursa Luna. So if you're looking for one to evolve your own Ursa Ring into this, this is where I recommend looking. Oh, what? You can actually get hit by status ailments from Pokemon. Maybe I should have kept that charm going after all. Now I'm poisoned and I'm slowly dying. I can't even get on Wordier either. Dude, what the frick? What do I do? Oh, okay, we're fine. It goes away after a little bit, but that was scary, man. I gotta make sure to avoid taking any more damage. Whoa, I think I just saw a Yen Mega. Probably a rare one. Ooh, I like that cry it's doing too. Okay, hold up. Let's try to make use of these items again. Can throw this scatterbang, or well, right now it's actually facing away from us, so... Let's just stay in the grass. And actually, I'm just gonna bring out Chang. Just wait for it to turn around. Oh gosh. It's level 58. Yeah, this is probably not gonna end well. But we might as well try! As we catch it unaware, that means we at least get a couple of chances to hit it before it can do anything. What if we go strong style while it's unaware? Does it still give us a chance to attack twice? Well, let's find out. That's four times super effective. And yes, it is still unaware. Nice. Oh, wait, what the frick? Why did you still attack? Oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have done strong style then. Uh, this is fine. Mrs. Puff. You can do this. I just need you to weaken it a little bit more so we can throw our Pokeball. Or we can just knock it out. I mean, I don't think that this will kill it. Well, we do got Ultra Balls, which are like the best type of ball we've been able to make so far. Actually, I don't think we can even craft these yet. Oh, come on. Well, at least Gohan can tank some hits. Uh, okay. Oh, God, come on, bro. Now it's enraged. I don't even know what that means. I'll tell you what it means. We're gonna die, certainly. Yep, there goes Gohan. And now it's just me and Charlie. Oh god, our last Pokemon. And Charlie's a dark type now, so I don't think we're gonna survive a bug buzz. Should we just run? Or do we risk one last Ultra Ball? If we don't catch it, we die and have our first blackout. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Just because I've got that charm right now, I feel like it might actually end up saving us. Or maybe we don't even need it, because look at that. Just gotta trust in the process. The Pokeball process. <gasps> oh my goodness! There it is! Oh! So, there's actually a little pond that... Eh, there we go. You couldn't see because of the mission request, but this is where we can find little Turtwig. Unfortunately, all my Pokemon are dead now, except for Charlie, who's weak to grass moves, so we better catch this dude. Oh wait, is it sleeping? Oh my god, it's just asleep! <laughs> This'll be easy peasy. In fact, I think we can just go for a Great Ball. We don't even need the Ultra. Just whack it on the head, and there it is! All three Sinnoh starters have been caught. Now let's get the frick out of here, bro. That was way too close with the Yen Mega, though. Now we should have all the ingredients this man required. The Soot Foot Root Springy Mushroom and Hopo Berry. You can have them all, baby. Uh, excuse me. Kind of standing in the way of this cutscene, lady. <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't really much of a cutscene, but like still. Why are you standing right there out of all places? Risa, come on. Oh, this is the lady that we gave a Tangela. Now for that quest, we'll get a swap snack as well as the recipe for it. It temporarily swaps a Pokemon's offensive and defensive stats. That's interesting to be certain. You might notice I've also got a Firestone on me, which we got from the space-time distortion of a couple of episodes ago. And we're gonna use that on Chang right now. I don't know why I waited this long, to be honest. I should have just done it as soon as we could. We could have had an Arcanine or an Arcanine duel last episode, but whatever. I figured, let's not wait any longer. Let's get ourselves the fully powered up Hisuian Arcanine. It looks a lot darker than I imagined in the little portrait. Is it like that in the summary too? Oh yeah. I figured it was going to be like the same stone color as uh, the 
Growlithe, but no, it's a little different. And I think it actually learned a new move, which is gonna be Raging Fury. Dude, there's so many new like signature moves in this game. It's crazy. Charlie's got one. Now Chang's got one, the Torterra earlier. And earlier, I forgot to check all the requests from the Blackboard, because I know that we actually have to talk to people first in order to like start the real quest. So I know one of them was battling with Pachirisu. We can click A and it'll show us where that person is on the map. Oh wait, what? He's not even in the village. He's like in the Mirelands. Are you serious? I was just there. It was you all along. I should have known when I saw the Pachirisu. Captain Sizu has set to me all sorts of training, but I don't feel like I'm really improving. So I came here to train with my partner Pachirisu. So cute. But I simply can't figure out how any winning strategy. You should ask uh, Seijin, the guy that won the championship with a Pachirisu. I want to see you battle with a single Pachirisu. No more and no other Pokemon. What? Well, I actually happened to catch that Alpha Pachirisu, so... Uh, I should warn you, this is not going to end well, my dude. <laughs> Wait, you want me to battle against Ursaring? Are you kidding me? I thought we just got to battle his own Pachirisu, but nope. We got to battle an Ursaring, okay. We also have baby doll eyes with the agile style, which will at least drop down Ursaring's stats, offensive stats, so we'll take less damage. Oh my god, of course, dude. Alright, well, a good thing that we did that first. Now, if we do Agile, what the heck, man? How come we don't get to attack twice anymore? Is it because our speed is too low? And you've got baby doll eyes too, bro? Come on! Alright, well, this is fine. We just need, like... Oh, I should have done Strong Style, because now it's going to live with one health. And you're just... Keep baby doll line? Okay, well, I guess we're fine then. Good job, Pachirisu. <laughs> that could have ended real bad, but thankfully we had the alpha. The ultimate Pachirisu. You didn't stand a chance, dude. You got schooled. Grit, gravel, and some citrus berries. Hardly worth it. Alrighty, guys. Next, we're going to head back to the coastlands. Oh, we got mass outbreaks. Are we finally going to find a shiny? I've heard this is the best way to get shinies in the game. The question is, do I want a hippopotas? Or a Pichu. Ooh, this is tough, dude. Then again, I was just in the Mirelands, so I feel like we should go somewhere else. So the game will actually tell you where the outbreak is happening, and it looks like it's pretty close to the base camp here. So let's just hop on over and go find ourselves a shiny Pichu. I know Pikachu's not exactly the craziest shiny. It looks pretty close to, like, the regular form, but I don't know. I panicked, okay? I just went for it. And there they are. Oh my god, there's no way, bro. We really found one that easy? Wait. Bro, no. Th what? I missed it. Oh my god, there's no way I'm gonna miss this freaking shiny. Oh, which one was it? Is it you? I can't even tell, dude. I'm pretty sure that was it, right? I think all the other ones ran away. Bro, I pray that that was it. I can't even tell, honestly. Are shinies always that easy to find in outbreaks? Because I literally got one first try. Or like, in the first batch of them. Unless that really wasn't the shiny, but I'm pretty sure that had to be it, bro. Oh. How am I missing these? One of these little fricks better be the shiny, dude. Oh yes, we got it! Nice! I honestly can't even tell apart if it wasn't for that little symbol right there. But we got a shiny Pichu! Now, there's actually one more request here in the field lands all the way across the horseshoe fields. There's this area, which if you don't have Basque Legion, I guess you could cross the Warren Bridge. But at this point, you should have Basque Legion. So I don't even know why I'm mentioning it. But anyway, this one guy wanted us to catch three combi in three different parts. And one of them is the grueling cove here. Is that the female? Dude, I think that's finally the female combi. Yo, this better catch, I swears. Oh, nice! Oh, there's also an Alpha Heracross, which is the first time I've seen a Heracross, period. We're gonna make more use of our smoke bomb so we can get real up close to this guy and try to hit him on the back. Oh, thank you for turning around for me, bro. I appreciate that. Maybe we can also get all of the uh, Agile-style shield bashes we need from this, finally. So I think I should be close to 20 at this point between the last three episodes. Like, come on, Billy. You gotta evolve already. Now, it's still unaware. So we got another chance to hit it. 
or not. It's going Swords Dance. Uh, we're, I mean, we probably would have gotten one shot even before the Swords Dance, brother. But uh, sure, you do you. I'll just go for another Agile style here. And since it's low health, I might actually just try to catch this Heracross. I like to see those every day, and yep, there goes Billy. Oh god, I'm so glad it didn't die from recoil. It was pretty close. Thankfully, we've got some Ultra Balls here. They worked against the Yan Mega, so who knows? Maybe they'll work against another bug type. Oh, I don't think so. Oh wait, what the frig, man? I really don't or can't tell when it's going to catch or not. Like the Pokeball sometimes bounces around all crazy. Sometimes it just does a little hop. What is this little lake over here? I feel there might be something else rare. Whoa, a space-time distortion is forming. Dude, those have been happening pretty frequently. Oh, <laughs> almost drowned myself on accident. Now, I've spotted an Alpha Weasel over here, and you guys might remember a long time ago, we had a research task to catch a giant Weasel. I don't know if the Alpha necessarily counts as one, but we'll try, as it's caught unaware. Level 29, okay, I don't think we'll one-shot it with a Psy Bash. Hopefully we don't, because I really want to catch this one. Probably should have just thrown a Pokeball. Like, it's a Weasel at the end of the day. I, I don't think uh, it's going to be the hardest to catch. Now we're going for it. Come on, bro. Just uh, stay in there for me. Oh, I think it did. Nice. Please tell me that one's big enough, finally. Now there's one more thing we can explore here in the field lands. Now that we've got Basque Legion, there's actually an island that you can only access once you can cross the water. Or, I guess if you had Braviary, you can get to this Ramanas Island. Oh, and there's actually a request here. Now, the reason why I kind of freaked out a little bit there is because that's the name of the park that they added in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But where's this request, though? Oh, could have sworn I was going the right way. Uh, we got some Apom and Drift Blims, which is not really anything too crazy. So I hope that this request can at least give us something a little more rare. Whoa, you got Pokemon with you. Let me guess, you got trapped here and you couldn't swim your way back? Maybe not. He wants me to bring him a Pokemon. What's its name again? Oh, the one with a scythe on each arm. Oh, Scyther. I had a feeling you'd say that. Never mind why I'd eat it. Just bring me that Pokemon with a scythe. All right. I actually have not caught a Scyther or a Cleavor just yet. And I know that we can get one here in the field lens. So this is a pretty nice request. What? There's an Alpha Infernape on this island too. And apparently something that Ursa Luna can dig up around here. I hope it's not towards the Infernape. That'd be pretty unfortunate. Oh God, of course it is. I don't want to mess with that thing. I mean, we've already got our own Infernape, so we don't really need to fight it. Oh, what the heck? Why did it... Take me off the old verse 17. Okay, that's the second poem that we found. I don't really want to read it, to be honest. I mean, you can pause if you want. I'm okay. <laughs> don't think we're going to really gain much knowledge from it. But you know what we can get is some nice experience from this Infernape. So don't mind if I just sneak right up to you. I don't know why I keep doing this. I guess just so I can make sure to hit it on the back and then get those uh, unaware extra hits. I think I also saw there was a little Chimchar somewhere that way. I guess now we're not gonna see it because we're in battle. And I'm out of Psy Shield Bashes. Frickity. The whole point of me doing this was to get some more experience on Billy or at least some more Psy Bash Shields in. But no, you just get close combat to death twice in a row. And yes, there is a little baby Chimchar over here. So if you didn't get one from the special request, this is where you can find one in the wild. It looks like it's sleeping too. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh, that should definitely catch it then. We don't even need to throw the smoke bomb or nothing. Now, I believe you can actually find Scythers here in the Grand Tree Arena where we fought Cleavor. We haven't actually been here since we fought Cleavor, so we never got to see if any Pokemon spawn or anything. And it looks like right now, nothing is really spawning, at least not in the middle of it. Maybe it's like on the outskirts or these little hills around it. Aha! That is definitely an Alpha Scyther. Okay. 
And I'm out of smoke bombs now too, but maybe we can distract it with one of these beans? Oh geez. Why are you getting so close, homie? Alright, let's just toss that there. And hopefully it uh, pays attention to it. Oh, I think it actually kind of likes it. So let's send out Chang and do battle. Oh my god, we got it so unaware. It's like still like, uh, I just woke up, man. What's, what the fuck is going on? It's the first time we get to see the Raging Fury. Oh, thank goodness it didn't one shot it. Oh, we get fixated though. What? Does that mean that it's just going to automatically use it again next turn? I hope not. Oh, nice. Thank you for calming yourself, Chang. I got to catch this thing. Another bug type. Three in this episode caught in Ultra Balls, too. I wonder if there's any more. Maybe a non-alpha? Aha! Wait, isn't this like where you use one of these flashbang things? Bah! You don't see me! Okay, yeah, it definitely sees me! Oh, God. Fine, I'll fight you then. Head on! I want to catch another one in case you actually have to give up the first to that dude on the island. Or I guess technically I'd give him this one and keep the alpha. But there we go. Another Scyther. Easy peasy. Alright, bro. I got your Scyther right here. I hope I don't give him the alpha on accident. That would suck. You see the Ramanas roses blooming all over this island? I have to gather every last one. I've been trying to pluck all of them myself. Having this Scyther's help will make things much smoother. Nice. All the roses? They're for my wife, you see. Aw. I mean, what am I saying? You're taking it way too far, bro. I'm sure, like, a couple roses will be fine. What? <laughs> Seriously? It just did not register to him, huh? So, she just meant to plant some? Well, that was a pretty severe misunderstanding. I'm glad she came along before I plucked every rose on this island. I'll just bring some of their seeds home for us to raise together. Take care. Oh. So I didn't actually even need to give up the Scyther. And for it, we get a Seed of Mastery. You're probably wondering how we can get Cleavor in this game and add another Alpha Hisuian form to our roster. I wish it was simple, but it isn't. You have to find a very rare ore called the Aurite Shard or something like that. And you can get it from Graveler, which we just so happen to run into one. At this point, I feel like I've done at least 100 of these. Like, there's no way we're not at 20. Yes, another Graveler. An Alpha, in fact. I wonder if it has like a higher chance to drop the item we need. Either way, we've got the Waterfall, so it should be easy peasy. What? You really survived, homie? No! Mrs. Puff, why? <laughs> I think using Agile Style or Strong Style actually consumes 2 PP from your move. That's why it feels like we've used way more than 20, but in reality, we haven't. Seriously? Oh, wait! <gasps> Billy can evolve! It's about dang time, bro! Yes! We're gonna get ourselves the word here, another Hisuian form! If we can get Quillfish and then Cleavor, I'd say that's a successful episode. Another Hisuian Forms galore, as we have got the majestic Wordeer. Does it get any new moves upon evolving? Doesn't look like it. I guess the Side Shield Bash is enough. That's like his signature right there. Awesome, dude. We've got our first Wordeer. Oh, it's so small. I mean, I did say it was Billy Jr. Unlike with Ursa Luna, who was like way bigger than the ride one. All right, another expedition complete. Look at that, nice and shiny and three alphas. Dang, dude. He's getting some work done. Whoa, we can already rank up. Let's go, Splendiferous indeed. I uh, don't think I'm gonna report back to Silene. Well, I guess we might as well. I don't know, maybe the Pokemon get higher level or we find rarer spawns. There's no point not to rank up because we also get a new kind of ball. And I'm excited to see what this one might be. Oh, it's just the wing balls. We actually did know about these because we got one as a reward for one of our side quests. Basically, it's the upgraded feather ball. I'm just waiting until we can actually craft ultra balls. I'm pretty sure we haven't gotten that ability yet. Let's see if this alpha weasel is finally big enough for Damien here. I'm pretty sure it should be, even though it's an alpha. I guess we gotta give it up. Oh my god, yeah, that is pretty freaking big, dude. <laughs> look at him side by side. They almost look like a parent and his child. Maybe they are. Wait, did he just say he wants to be part of their family? 
It's kind of weird, dude. An Orin Berry. Really? We're finally going to wrap up all this side questing here in the coastlands. First things first, we got to find Wanda. Right now, Ursa Luna doesn't even seem to have a track on her. Oh, we've got an item. I just don't know what side of the map. What the frick? We just got another peat block. Come on. I need the black augurite this time. Not no peat blocks. Oh, wait. Wanda is somewhere nearby. Is she... What the heck? Wait, that ain't Wanda. What is Charm doing here? You don't appear frightened to see me. No, not really. I'm more just confused. Daring to approach me rather than turn tail and run? You've got courage, I'll give you that. Now, you face the eldest of the misfortunes. This unlucky charm will ensure you fall in battle. What the heck? Random battle versus charm. Okay. Well, this actually gives me a chance to bring up something I forgot to mention last episode. But a lot of you guys pointed out. Alright, Mrs. Puff, this is your chance to shine. You're in the rain. You got the water pulse. Like, this should be a dead ride on here. And now her next Pokemon is really what I want to talk about. As she's going to be sending out the Gengar. Which is, of course, a ghost type. And I previously mentioned that Charm looks like she might be an ancestor of Bertha from Sinnoh. But she said last episode that she actually came here from Kanto. And there's another old lady that she kind of looks like from Kanto that uses ghost types. I don't know why I'm beating around the bush. What I'm trying to say is she might actually be an ancestor of Agatha from the Kanto Elite Four. You can kind of see it in the hair. I mean, her and Bertha both have similar hair. And I think people have said before that they might be sisters. So perhaps Charm is the missing link confirming that Agatha and Bertha are actually sisters after all. But this is only a test. Now I know more about you, how you fight, and I won't hold back next time. What? And she's just gonna poof away. Great. Wait, what? Seems she dropped something. Wow. Some pocket cash. Nice. You know, it's better than nothing, I suppose. But wait, Wanda is still around here somewhere, apparently, and so is... Octillery, which I think someone wanted us to catch one or complete the dex entry. But let's uh, get Wanda first. She's just right over here on this little island. What the heck? Why is it telling me to dig? Bro, Octillery, chill. What the frick, dude? Okay, fine, I'll hop off. Jeez. Orangey, yes, I'm here to find you again. I got the old heave-ho from this machop and splash! I was right into the sea for me. And then I couldn't swim back to the shore on my own, so I was just stranded, bro. You don't even need to swim back to shore. It's like, you just gotta do a little hop. And here I was, just trying to find myself the Black Augurite! Finally! yo! We can get ourselves a Cleavor! A glassy black stone that produces a sharp cutting edge when split, and loved by a certain Pokémon, and that Pokémon just so happens to be the Scyther we've got right on our team. The Alpha Scyther, actually. So this is going to be a real big and mighty Cleavor. Let's see, another evolution. Now we're just missing Quillfish, and we've got the whole roster of Hisuian forms that we've seen so far, at least. As we've got Cleavor. Bug and Rock type, of course. And it doesn't even seem to... Oh, Stone Axe. It's got a its own signature move there. The user swings its axes, aiming to land a crit, and stone splinters are left behind that continue to attack. That sounds badass. We're definitely going to grab that. Don't think I'm really going to use Cleavor on the squad. I just want to try to get all the Hisuian forms. And now the only one we're really missing is Mrs. Puff. Mrs. Puff, why do you suck? Like, I just want you to evolve already to see if maybe you'll actually be able to tank some hits or do something. Like, come on, dog, really? I, again! 3,000 years later. You're really testing my patience here, Miss Puff. I can't imagine that there's that many more barred barrages that we have to use at this point. Like, I feel that we've done... Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> Uh, and it runs away. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Wait, it's only used it 17 out of 20 times. I only just realized that it's been keeping track of it for us. Okay, so three more times. What the frick? Is that a 
Uh, Peeny? It's too bad. You've got to die for me. Or maybe it won't. These barred barrages. Oh, okay. I mean, that's kind of close. But we still got a chance to catch it, of course. There's no more Pokemon here. Are you serious? I need one more Bard Barrage, bro. This is where I'm at, by the way, in case you wanted a Hapini. But I found an Apom, which is going to be our final sacrifice to the goddess known as Mrs. Puff. This should be the final. No, are you freaking kidding me? Oh! Spain, but without the S. That's what I'm feeling right now. Come on, dude. Oh my god, we almost just got one shot too. All right, I'm pretty sure Mrs. Pop is gonna faint from this anyway, but like at least this is the last Bard Barrage we need. Unless if we faint, they don't count? I, I honestly don't know. All I know is Mrs. Puff is down for the count. Tell me this is it. Yes, even though it's fainted, Mrs. Puff is ready to evolve. Dude, I've been recording for almost three hours, guys. Like, this is kind of insane. We finally did it. We got the Hesuian Quillfish evolving. And Jesus Christ Almighty. What am I looking at right now? Overquill. That's what. That's the first Hisuian form I've actually had no spoilers at all for. I mean, I guess Ursa Luna too. And Sligu. And Lilligant. Never mind. There's a lot. But anyway, I just, I'd never seen this. But it really does fit with the prediction in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. It talked about a quillfish with really big spikes. And that's basically what this is. Mrs. Puff is basically a landmine. I can't even send it out to show it to you guys because wait, what the heck? I evolved an egg? Now you may have noticed it is raining right now and that reminded me of one more Hisuian evolution that we can only get in the rain. That's the only hint you get. Try to guess right now what it is. Did you guess Sligu? Because that's the one. Just like regular Sligu, Hisuian Sligu evolves by leveling up while it is raining. Oh wait, we don't even need to level it up. What the heck? I guess if it's just level 50 and it's raining, you can evolve your Sligu into the Hisuian Gudra, which I have never seen before. So this is first reaction right here. I'm pretty dang excited though, judging by like the whole shell that it's got building around it. I'm guessing that's gonna get a whole lot bigger. Oh my God, why is it so sad though? Oh no, poor Gudra, who hurt you? I know it wasn't me. What happened, dude? It's so big though, what the frick? Wait, is that even a shell anymore? Or is that actually its tail that just looks like that? Oh my God, it's so big though. I know it's an alpha, but still. Maybe it just lives up to the name. I mean, Gumi comes from gloomy, right? What the frick? Oh my God, that is amazing. All right, this is the best Hisuian form ever. Let me know which of these Hisuian forms was your favorite and which one you want me to most use on the official team. I'm open to anything. I haven't really settled what my final party will be. So whatever you guys vote for the most will for sure be added onto the team. Absolute banger of an episode.